Good afternoon, folks. It's Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project at 12.05 noon, October 1st, Sunday, 2017. Happy October, everyone. This is the first in a series of preparedness videos. I'm getting a lot of questions on where people think they should, I should th I think they should move, where do, do I think it's safe. It's not really what I think, it's what you think is safe and where you think you should move. Intention is everything, and if you believe you're in the right place, you could survive and thrive anywhere. So it's up to you where to go. I will give you information on uh, things to look out for move forward as we progress into the grand minimum um, and as these global catastrophes unfold, forced by the sun and our society. So let's start here with this headline, America's natural disaster response is its own disaster. And I agree with that. I'm going to leave links to this article. It talks about how the Pentagon had to change its strategy after 9-11, but I won't even get into 9-11, please. But let's just jump to FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Three unique major hurricanes have hit three distinct major metro areas, and the damage was far more extensive than had been planned for. They hadn't planned for anything, and they certainly haven't planned for what's about to unfold. This is the FEMA equivalent of the Pentagon's two war doctrine, which you can read about above. Well, what you'll get into here is that FEMA is not prepared for what just happened. And we're going to just come down here and look at some numbers. To deal with the situation, FEMA needed Congress to allocate emergency supplemental funding. Congress approved a $22 billion aid package. Okay? If the solar flare that shot off the sun two weeks ago had hit us at K9 or 10 and the grid failed, this number is ridiculous. A grid failure number is in the $2 trillion range. You can Google it, which would be 10 times more than 22 billion. It would be around two and a half trillion dollars to fix that. They're not gonna fix that problem. I believe that they're gonna let the infrastructure fail. That was the plan all along, which is why the infrastructure really has been, hasn't been taken care of. So there is no planning with our, for our government and FEMA in place for what is happening currently. So how could there be any planning for what's happening in the future? There isn't. Um, but what there has been is a warning. This year, May 12th, 2017, the International Earthquake Prediction Center here issuing a warning to the U.S. government. I'll leave you links to this. The International Earthquake and Volcano Prediction Center announced today that it had notified Secretary of Energy Rick Perry of an imminent threat to U.S. nuclear facilities from a wave of catastrophic earthquakes that is about to start. This is the most common sense piece of information I've seen being sent to our government. Have they acted upon it? Probably not. And this all has to do with John Casey's book, Upheaval, where him and a group of scientists who started the International Earthquake Prediction Center. Okay, I'll leave you links to all this so you can get all the data yourself. Here's the book, Upheaval. There's links to buy it here. It's from Veritons Publishing. But we'll get back to that real quick. Where does all this information and upheaval come from? It comes from recent papers on explosive volcanic eruptions triggered by cosmic rays. Volcano as a bubble chamber. This paper, it comes from other sources, including, I'll leave you links to this, cosmic solar radiation as the cause of earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. You can research this article. Here is the graph of the correlation of major earthquakes above 8.0 corresponding to high cosmic ray flux in low sunspot numbers. Here, high cosmic ray flux at the bottom of these cycles leads to huge earthquakes. And we just had an 8.1, which would be a black line here at the bottom of solar cycle 24. So this is a direct correlation, folks. The U.S. government has been warned by the International Earthquake Volcano Prediction Center, and they're not even prepared for hurricanes, let alone what is about to be unleashed on our country. Other countries know it's coming to North America. What I want to talk about is John Casey, who helped start all this warning by 
putting this information into the mainstream. He is the CEO of that prediction center. He recently suffered a stroke on September 8th, unfortunately, as a direct result of space weather. Now we told you how there is a direct connection between human health, geomagnetic storms, a storm up in K8 can cause strokes of all kinds and that's what he suffered on that day. It's not allowing me to show you that. You could do your own research on what happened September 8th with the K, that was from the X-Flare. So put John Casey in your prayers. I'll leave his bio for you. He will, he is, he's, has a long road to recovery ahead of him. And we have to thank him for all the work, the hard work that he did. Here's some more correlation. The Cascades all erupting 200 years ago during the Dalton minimum. And again, in the thousand year major cycle talked about by Dr. Wheeler, the, some of these cascade volcanoes will erupt. I guarantee it. They're not just going to stop erupting. There'll be no more dots in the future. Are we prepared for that? I doubt it, but we've been warned. So let's continue with the warning. Let's continue with the New Madrid zone. The main warning is that this fault in the New Madrid area is going to fault in the near future. Are we prepared for it? Absolutely not. The infrastructure that we built here of pipelines that will rupture and flow into the Gulf of Mexico and pollute it to the point of no return has been placed haphazardly. This is just oil right here, folks. Take a look at this gas transmission and hazardous liquid pipelines. If you live near any of these high concentration areas of pipelines, you should move. If, because in the event of an infrastructure failure, no one's coming out to fix these. In the event of a major eight or above earthquake or series of earthquakes in the New Madrid fault zone in this area, this entire ring of hazardous liquid is going to rupture and flow into the Mississippi River and out and down through Louisiana and out into here. This entire zone is a toxic waste nightmare in the future that lies ahead. And it already is now. I just want to point you to the highest concentration in here in East Texas of hazardous waste pipelines and garbage and infrastructure. And just take a look at the cancer rates here. I'll leave you links to this. They're so much higher than the rest of the state and the rest of the country. East Texas. Take a look. Northeast Texas. Northwest Texas. And Deep East with the highest rates, well, duh, look at Deep East Texas. It's this entire zone of hazardous liquids. If you live in these areas, I would move because there is going to be a major earthquake in this area at some time in the near future. And these areas are going to, and these pipelines, this hazardous waste will rupture, will flow into the subsurface and forever pollute this area for a long period of time. And if you do not like cancer, I wouldn't live there. Why would you want to get cancer in a survival situation? It doesn't make any sense. So take a look. I'll leave links to these maps. Get in a safe zone out here away from major faults. Stay away from the Yellowstone Caldera. This looks like a pretty nice area. There are places out here that are warm and safe. Stay away from the border areas. You might have some safety here in the inland of the Appalachia. This is the death zone if the caldera erupts. But the Four Corners region has some safe areas down in this area. That'd be my light recommendation. Guys, we're not prepared for this. The country's not prepared for this. The warning has been issued by John Casey and the uh, Earthquake Volcano Prediction Center. It got directly to the top levels. If they're not prepared for it, there's a reason they're not preparing for it. Please take a look at this information. Share it with people that you love. And also, take a look at these papers and the link. And the links, these are brand new developments in this type of science that's just getting to the forefront. We need to seize this opportunity uh, to prepare because our, our current natural disaster is our response to natural disasters. Guys, I hope you liked the information you saw. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and share this with like-minded individuals. And above all, be safe.